Steam Deck OLED, Fallout 4, Next Gen, and I wonder why everybody's hating this update. I'll press play anyway. Wait, something is missing. Where is the first menu? Maybe we can change settings now directly in the game. That would be actually really cool. They're congratulating me for updating the game. And let's go straight away to the settings. I want to see if I was right. We don't have settings in this game. I think Bethesda just removed graphic settings for Steam Deck. What the hell? How are we supposed to adjust settings in the game? Have they lost their minds? Will it be always like this? I'm so confused. They just broke the game, I think. Maybe Bethesda is treating Steam Deck like a gaming console, and on gaming consoles you cannot adjust resolution or graphic settings. But Steam Deck is not just a console, it's a PC. It's a gaming PC. To be honest, I'm lost for words. Let's see what changes they made in the game. The game looks exactly the same as before. Same shadows, same texture quality, same FPS. I think it's exactly the same. Hmm, it is really hard to tell. Maybe it looks sharper a little bit, I'm not sure. Or maybe it's just I'm going crazy. I think it looks exactly the same as before. How I know? Because I played a few days ago. And yeah, I can't see any improvements. What's interesting, it says 90 FPS, but it feels like 45. This is the problem with this game. Uh, Steam Deck basically lying about FPS because of game engine. And it was like this before. I clearly remember this. I made video like one week ago. Oh no, turret is trying to kill me. I mean, it is as fun as before. <laughs> it's just the same game. So what changed? Bethesda care to explain? It is the same game. Nothing new. I was hoping they will add like FSR, DLSS, support, uh, shadow improvement, RTX. Or they will use just all the mods available just to make beautiful game. Like literally next gen Fallout 4. I watched a few videos on YouTube where Fallout has like 50 plus modes. And that game was not the one I see right now. Perfect shadows, 4K textures, better characters, more weapon, more, more everything. Something tells me because of success of TV show, they just want to bump up the price for the game. This game was so cheap year ago on Steam that I purchased a thing for like nine pounds, and I think that was without any sale. And Bethesda was not ready for TV show to be this successful, and they had to release just something to bump up the price for the game. If they would increase price for just Fallout 4 without next gen update, that would be very suspicious. But since this is next gen. People won't probably even complain. Dogmeat looks very cool here. So Bethesda just played us all. Well done. And also Bethesda just killed all the mods. And this is absolutely disgusting because Bethesda want to sell mods directly from the game. Like in Skyrim before. Yes, creators will make some money from making mods, which is I support. This is very cool. And Bethesda will make some money. Probably most of them. Because it's Bethesda. Also, I really like the idea to install mods directly in the game, let's say on Steam Deck. So situation with mods is good and not good in the same time. Good because people will start to make some money on the mods, which I totally support. Bad only because we won't be able to choose which mods we want to install. Bethesda won't allow to creators to upload mods which will make their game look bad compared to their mods. Let's say 4K textures, nope. Or maybe better weapons? Nope. Or better map? Or the mode where you have hundreds of new enemies logically allocated here and there? It will be again? Nope. And the biggest mode of all? Fallout London? It will be? Nope. And I'm very upset about this only because I've been waiting for Fallout London for forever and I live in London. So I would have twice more enjoyment to play Fallout London. But Todd Howard said in an interview that Fallout can be only in USA. With this, he kinda said that Fallout 4 London will never work on Fallout 4. So basically 4 years of hard work went for nothing. I feel sorry for developers and Bethesda, this is just wrong. You can download nude mode for Fallout and Bethesda said nothing. But once someone decided to make like continuation of this game, Bethesda decided to change everything. They could hire those people and sell this Fallout London as DLC. 
Have they even so far out London? I wonder. It looked quite amazing in my opinion. Or they could sell it as Else World Fallout. Bethesda, I am so disappointed. Interesting news. Microsoft decided not to give to Bethesda to develop new Fallout. Maybe Phil Spencer or people from Microsoft, they thinking exactly the same about Fallout as us. That Bethesda is just ruining this game because of the greed. I really hope Fallout 5 will be given to different company, let's say Obsidian, and it will be about Vegas. With DLSS, FSR, Frame Generation, RTX, beautiful graphics and rich story. And what's most important, no more Mr. Liar. You know who I'm talking about. Like, subscribe if you like this video and I will see you in next one.